Hello, how's it going guys? It is Chad here from Lootoons and we are back with another drawing video. And by popular demand, we are doing the 10 years later um, theme. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because instead of doing sort of a cast of characters, I've sort of just picked one character from a couple of different things because I think it's a little bit more fun to see uh, different shows and how they may have uh, advanced on in their lives. As always, I will be using a copy of Flash CS5 to do all of the drawings with the help of my trusty Wacom drawing tablet. Not sponsored by either of those guys. Not that I would mind if I was. So the stage is set, I've got a blank canvas and my stylus ready for action, but before we get into the actual drawings, I'd like to say a huge thank you to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an awesome platform for creators to learn just about anything. It's got over 16,000 classes, all laid out in a super slick video format. If you're a creator of any kind, this is a really cool way to help you with your craft. All the people who teach you stuff on the site are experts and cover a huge range of subjects. Anything from painting to designing characters in Adobe Illustrator to video editing in Premiere, which is what I use to edit my videos. Or if you're a total camera noob like me, I'd recommend the DSLR classes. They're really great. You can watch them on your computer at home or on the go on your phone. So you can pick up some knowledge and inspiration, even as you're AFK, as the kids say. So I definitely hope you guys will check it out. The first hundred people to click the link down there will get a two month free subscription, which is way better than any free subscription you'll get on, I don't know, any other monthly subscription service. Think of all the learning you could do with two free months. And with that, we've got some 10 years later drawings to do. Let's jump in. Okay, so we're starting off with Morty from, of course, Rick and Morty. And I am a few uh, episodes behind, so it wouldn't surprise me if they actually already did some kind of a future episode where they showed him as an adult or something like that. But um, so what I went with is... I feel like Morty, he has this quintessential sort of worry wart personality that you don't want to fully abandon, but then again I was thinking if for 10 years he was going on all these wacky adventures, I think he would become a bit more acclimated to all of the wackiness and maybe become a little bit more confident, so that's kind of how I handled him, gave him a cool little bomber jacket and a ray laser gun type thing. I think he turned out pretty cool, and uh, since he's already pretty young, he doesn't really end up being that old. So, there's your Morty. Next, I went with Helga G. Pataki, who is really interesting because she sort of exemplifies a lot of youthful characteristics, kind of like Bully, the person that you like. I mean, that's a very quintessential elementary school thing. So when I was thinking about her redesign for 10 years later, I think she would fall into like high school or something. My idea was that she would have kind of grown out of a lot of that and maybe become a little softer because we know she has that side to her, but uh, just doesn't show it on the outside when she's younger. So I think that's something she would probably come to terms with when she was older. I also, uh, as you will almost immediately probably notice, I got rid of the unibrow, which seems slightly sacrilegious, but I think that's another one of those things that when you're a kid, you just kind of go with. But when you get older and you're in high school, maybe it becomes something that you get rid of. Um, I kept her quintessential colors generally. Um, so she's got sort of a cool and casual look for summer. Uh, but yeah, folks, there's your Helga. So next I did Butters from South Park. And I get it that South Park characters aren't the most exciting to watch in sort of a speed drawing video. But I really wanted to do a South Park character because... There's something really interesting you notice with South Park adults versus kids in terms of their design. Not only do most all of the kids wear sort of winter clothing, but the adults really don't. Also you notice the adults have more varied shapes in their heads, and they usually have noses. It's like, when they become an adult, do they grow a nose? So I kind of wanted to um, experiment with that, even though Butters isn't one of the kids who wears winter gear. He just happens to kind of be my favorite, so I wanted to, to uh, do a Butters all grown up. Um, so I think it ended up looking a little bit weird because you're so not used to seeing those characters with noses, but I think there is something interesting to me about 
the adults having noses generally and the kids not. So it was a concept that I wanted to try. Pretty easy to assemble, obviously. But uh, yeah, something interesting. And last, but certainly not least, is actually my favorite of this batch in terms of how it turned out. Uh, it's of course Star from Star versus the Forces of Evil. And I don't know about you guys, but I've always got this kind of Sailor Moon-ish vibe from her, so I kind of took some cues from that with her uh, wardrobe growing up. And I think this is sort of her battle regalia instead of maybe her day-to-day um, -day kind of thing. I also uh, thought it would be interesting if her wand sort of evolved into this badass staff. Um, I'm not fully caught up with Star either, so maybe there's already been like a future thing or maybe her staff has actually evolved or something, but that was just something I thought would be a cool idea. Uh, I also gave her kind of a giant ponytail, had this sort of cosmic interplanar defender feel to it, along with extending the horns on her headband I thought was interesting. So I'm super stoked with how this one turned out. It actually feels plausible to me, which is pretty exciting. So um, I hope you guys like it as well. And that's the last one I got for you. Okay, not too bad. As always, I feel pleasantly surprised by the results. When I go into these drawing videos, I have no clue um, where I imagine these characters 10 years later, so I'm always sort of surprising myself with the results. You guys, of course, will have to let me know what you thought, and I'd love to hear what other characters you would like to see aged 10 years later. That's about all I've got for you guys today, but a quick life update for me. I am actually moving from Minneapolis, where I'm filming, out to LA to pursue my dreams of working in the animation industry. So for the next seven days, I'm going to be um, on a big giant road trip, moving out to uh, California. So you guys can keep up with me on Instagram if you want to. I'm gonna try to post a lot of pictures. We'll see, I'm always bad at taking pictures on vacations. But other than that, uh, it's going to be a big process for me to sort of pick up and move my whole life to uh, California. So there is going to be no Disney month this year, which makes me so sad. It breaks my heart. It's like five years running tradition to have Disney month, but no Disney month this year. But I'm going to try to pick it back up, maybe shift it to another month or just go uh, balls to the wall next year. We'll see, but wish me luck on my move. And I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the 10 years later drawings. And I will see you in the next drawing video. Girl.